In this video, I'm going to show you the track group manager in Reaper. Now the track group manager is one of the newer features added to Reaper. But before we go through it, I want to show you a new addition that's been added to the track manager, which is a different dialogue. So the project set up here with some drums, a bass, a couple guitars, and a vocal. Let's start off by creating some groups. We'll select our drums, hit Shift G, and that creates a group. Let's choose all the parameters and close it. Now we created a group for our drums. Let's do the same thing for the guitars. We'll select them, Shift G. Let's choose a different group, Group 2, and do the same thing. Choose all the parameters to group. So I have two groups in this project. So if we go to the Track Manager, go to View, Track Manager, or we can use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift M on the PC, or Command Shift M on the Mac. And that opens up this dialog, and we can see all our tracks at once, right over here. We can rename them, we can change their color, we can choose if we see them in the track control panel, or hide them, or show them again, or if we see them in the mixer. Now we see them all, and now we don't. And of course, we can choose them one by one in the track control panel or the mixer. But now, in the newer versions of Reaper, we could see our groups. We could see group one on these tracks and group two on these tracks. And we could double click it to change the parameters for that track. We'll choose them all for that group and do the same thing. And readjust the parameters for that group. All from within this window. So that's something new that was added in Reaper. But what I really want to show you in this video is the track group manager, which is a different dialogue altogether. So let's close this, go back to the view menu, and choose the track group manager. Open this up. Now we can see all groups in one window. We can scroll down to see all 64 of them. And notice we can see the groups we already created. There's four tracks in group one and two tracks in group two. And we can see what tracks are grouped over here and the parameters over here. We can rename them drums or guitars. And we can double click right over here and choose or rechoose our tracks. We can add the bass to our drum group. We'll double click it and remove it. Or to our guitar group, we could add our vocal or remove it right from here. We can change the parameters in that group by double clicking over here and change the parameters over here. Maybe remove the media and razor groups, and that's reflected in what we see over here. Double click over here to change it for the drums, maybe turn it off for the record arm. That's also reflected in here, if you could see it. But right from this window, we could change the name of our groups, we could enable or disable them. So they don't work as groups, turn back on, or we could hide them in the track control panel as a group. Hide all the drums, hide all the guitars, turn them back on, hide them in the mixer, so we don't see the drums in here, or show them, or hide the guitars in the mixer, so we don't see them in here, or show them again. And we could also right click and choose this option right here to select tracks in group when selecting the group. This is off by default, but if we turn it on, now if we select our groups from in here, like the guitars, the tracks are selected. Our drums, our guitars, making it easier to work with those tracks. And we could also choose which groups we view. We could view all of them or just the ones in use or just the ones with the media and razor editing, or view them all again. And we could also search and find our groups. By typing in drums, we just find this group. Or guitar, same thing. Or clear it 
to see them all again. It's a very useful overview of all the groups in our projects. So that's pretty much it. That's the track group manager in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.